So one of the actions that should be taken, of course, is to make sure that as many people as possible can access the internet. I mean, there's a lot of things that you could do, but I think it's this thing of connectivity and getting the next billion online. I think we should uh, prioritize uh, internet connectivity. There is the need to involve so many other people to connect those people who are still unconnected. Largely, and it's not, it's not uh, thrilling, it's a, it's a basic education campaign. We see that it's a lack of education on internet things, on, on internet governance, on universities. The first thing is that people who use the internet and the devices that are attached to it need to feel a certain amount of shared responsibility for the way in which they use these systems. All organizations, be it civil society, government, private companies, everyone is, needs to be involved to make sure that we have the internet that we want. What's really important is that we all have to work together and we have to listen to each other. So civil society has to listen to government and government has to listen to private sector and private sector has to listen to technical community, etc., etc. We all have to work together. So I think there's a role for everybody that is appropriate in how to actually move these issues forward. Well, there's not one organization that should take charge of everything. In fact, that's one of the things we've been fighting against, having just a governmental organization do that. So if we see a lot of collaborations between the private sector and the government, I think it will take us further. It should be a combined effort by all of them to build a better internet for the future. I think when everyone comes together and, and works on things, you really kind of see a difference in the way policy is made, and I think that that's important. Uh, in terms of human rights, uh, there's need for legislation and practice that obviously respects human rights. More clear, coherent, and, and consistent policies on the part of government. Policies that govern the cost. Ensuring there's competition in the marketplace. That there needs to be some sort of internationally driven uh, regulation as light as possible but in order to rein in the, the profit motive. We have to take action by educating people now to more understand what the internet is, how to take advantage of it and also provide tools. Provide tools against the bad guys, provide tools against cyber security, provide tools for data privacy so we can actually take the good way of the internet. First of all we need to enhance uh, security Ensure that the networks are trusted, the way they deal with your data, with information, with access. Privacy issues have to be addressed, freedom issues have to be addressed, security breaches have to be addressed. This can only be done using a multi-stakeholder approach. I think that is creating accountability and transparency around student privacy. There will be no participation, no effective participation without accountability and transparency. But every voice has to be heard and every voice has to be at the table to be able to make the, the true potential of the internet a, a reality.